<laughs> there we go. All right. So next, let's go ahead and I'm, I'm debating. Let's go ahead and talk about the RTX 3080 12 gigabyte. We've talked about it before. We are excited about it because the memory performance is better. And welcome everybody hopping in. So let's go ahead and talk about it. Uh, this is uh, from WCCF Tech, your favorite spot for rumors <laughs> in the tech world. NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3080, 12 gigabyte graphics card official, more memory, more cores, higher price. The NVIDIA RTX 3080, 12 gigabyte graphics card has been made official and, it's and is the latest within the Ampere lineup for gamers. For the GeForce RTX 3080 12 gigabyte, NVIDIA has enabled a total of 70 SM units, which results in a total of 8,960 CUDA cores, a 3% increase over the standard RTX 3080. In addition to the CUDA cores, NVIDIA's GeForce RTX 3080 also comes packed with the next generation ray tracing cores, that's interesting, tensor cores, and brand new SM for streaming multi-processor units. The card is suggested to have a TDP of 350 watts and will operate at a base clock of 1260 megahertz with a boost clock of 1710 megahertz. It's pretty incredible <clears throat> how much higher the clock speeds are on AMD right now. Um, like, the, just the on the on on paper in terms of memory the updated geforce rtx 3080 comes packed with 12 gigabytes of memory and that too is the next generation gddr6x design with micron's latest greatest graphics memory dies the rtx 3080 can deliver gddr6x memory speeds of 19 gigabits per second this is what we as miners are excited about that along with a bus interface of 384 bit will deliver a cumulative bandwidth of 912 gigabytes a second that's a 20% increase over the current RTX 3080, and this is confirmed now. So the reception of this card mostly depends on its pricing. While the MSRP of 699 US was never true for the RTX 3080, the same can be expected for the 12 gigabyte variant. It will slide between the 3080 10 gigabyte and the 3080 Ti graphics card. So expect around 899 to 999 US as MSRP and realistic pricing should be expected over 1500 US dollars. As performance as a as for performance the card may end up being really close to the RTX 30 Ti at a lower price point and it should be super attractive to miners let's go ahead and take a look here I know we have a 20% increase over the RTX 3080 but it actually puts it right in at the same speed as the 3080 Ti what that tells me just in general right is that we should see the same mining performance between the 3080 12 gigabyte and the 3080 ti <clears throat> seeing that it's not a 3090 ti that we're talking about here my best assumption is that light hash rate will be enabled but it shouldn't affect it on things like flux with a light hash rate unlock 80 to 90 mega hash a second uh, should be expected with the light hash rate unlocked miners. And then if we're talking about flux, I would uh, expect around 110 solutions a second, maybe a little higher on flux due to more cores and a higher clock speed. That being said, it's not as high high or we don't have exact let's see it's not as high as that is it right no it is it's higher than the 3080 ti the 1710 megahertz and we are getting some new stuff there it's interesting that they're throwing the new ray tracing cores in here as well as the new memory and i'm excited to see what happens with the 3090 ti um this is by and large obviously an incremental update i think there's some benefits on the gaming side with the ten the new tensor cores there are some benefits clearly from the mining side provided you know you don't have locks that end up applying to other cards or, or other algorithms i should say it's an odd launch because 
if we're looking at the specifications or purely looking at the specifications, right? The 3080 Ti versus the 3080 12 gigabyte. It's extra weird. It the the cores are cut down, right? But your clock speeds are higher. And then your memory speed is the same. Well, the speed is the same. Overall bandwidth is the same, right? Yeah. Overall bandwidth is the same as the 3080 Ti. I think thought that this was going to be a little higher at 21 gigabits per second but i guess not so kind of a weird release very odd i don't know you guys let me know what you guys think about it obviously i'll be trying to get one for testing i still haven't gotten rtx 2060 12 gigabyte for testing though so i don't know I hope you enjoyed this clip from the Crypto Mining Morning Show every Monday through Friday, 7.45 a.m. Pacific and 10.45 a.m. Eastern Time. You can check out more clips here, or if you're interested in checking out the entire live show, you can check that out down here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next Tuesday.